What's going on everybody, it's Asher and Ninja here today, my dudes, for something a little bit new for you guys, okay? Then this is gonna be something that we really have never done before, and it's gonna be really exciting for me to share with you guys. This is gonna be a tag video, okay? So what that means is that, but first off, I got tagged by somebody, and we'll talk about them in a second. But at the end of the video, I will tag a few of my personal friends who do Pokemon content, or have a Pokemon mascot, as you guys know by the title, and or some people I have never talked to, Maybe talk to once, maybe twice. You know, people, people, well, I don't really know, but they're gonna get tagged as well, okay? We're gonna get, what, five people. Tag five people. We'll do three people that I know and two people that are much bigger channels, okay? And we'll talk about that at the very end. We'll tag them at the very end, okay? But stick around, it's gonna be exciting. So, this tag video, you guys know by the title, probably by the thumbnail, you probably already know what it is, but we're gonna be talking about the five Pokemon that could have potentially been my mascots. Now, every Pokemon YouTuber has gone through the process of deciding their mascot. Every YouTuber actually has gone through the process of deciding their logo, deciding their mascot, deciding their brand, okay? And as a Pokemon content creator, we typically go with the Pokemon to be our sidekick, okay? Our our, our little buddy, our, our brand, our logo, okay? It's all gonna be Pokemon related. And as you guys know, I eventually ended up with the Sogor as my main mascot because it's a ninja, you know, it's badass, it moves quick, it's really fun, completely the opposite of me. Okay, I'm fun, but I'm slow, I'm chubby, I'm not a ninja, I have no training. But uh, it, it goes with the name, it goes with the brand, you know, Ace Turn and Ninja, we have a little ninja as our mascot, and it's really, you know, it's a fun thing, okay? And we, we eventually ended up with the Sogor as the mascot, but if you guys have been around on the channel for a while, you know we've gone through a whole lot of a mascots, okay? Some of them you guys don't know about. Some of them, you know, ran through my brain and I turned them down before we, you know, went officially with the change. And some of them officially were channel mascots for a while. So we're gonna talk about it. If you guys are excited and you are excited about the video, make sure to drop a like for me down below. Subscribe if you are new around here. Check the description for the original Tag Masters channel link, the 31st. He's a really funny guy, good videos, does top tens a lot. So if you guys are, you know, interested in top 10s, top 5s, fact videos, whatever, check him out, okay? He's a cool guy. Link's down in the description. But with that, oh, let's get started. For number 5, is going to be a Pokemon that a lot of you guys already know I really, 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 really love. Infernape. There was a time that I was a Pokemon YouTube creator without the Ace Trainer Ninja title. Back in the day, back around, you know, around 100 subscribers. You know, long back, and like really around 100 subscribers. We had the channel name as Ninja Boy Games because I didn't do just Pokemon content. I played all kinds of games, okay? We played Gary's Mod, we played GTA, we played Call of Duty. You know, and then I had my Pokemon series that was going up. And then we had this, that, and the other thing. You know, one-off games, spin-off games, crazy things that I found on Steam. You know, just you know, fun, just random games. And back then, when I was just deciding to slowly merge my way into the Pokemon content community, originally I had thought that my mascot was going to be Infernape. Because it was my favorite Pokemon of all time. Top five favorite Pokemon, at least. Okay, I loved this Mon. Okay, he's been my best friend right there beside me since the beginning a Pokemon Diamond, okay? I've loved this thing for a long time, so that's why Infernape was really like one of the first mods that popped into my head to become the channel mascot. Now the reason we ended up not going with Infernape for the channel mascot is only because Infernape is not only my favorite Pokemon, but a ton of other people's favorite Pokemon as well, okay? And we were doing just you know, a tiny little bit of research on YouTube, just, you know, just a little bit, you know, typed in a name or two. I found like three or four channels that had Infernape as their mascot, so I ended up not going with Infernape. That's the story. Cool story, right? On to number four. In the number four slot, okay, we're gonna have a Pokemon that, that actually was a more recent decision that we ended up not going with because of, you know, branding issues, personal branding issues, not really branding issues. Like, <laughs> I didn't wanna change that much about, about the channel, right? Number four slot, it's going to the Pokemon Seismitoad. The Pokemon Seismitoad was one that I had thought to put into the mascot slot along with a name change for the channel to Rocker Ninja or Rocker Ace or Rocker Jace. You know, these these with names I was throwing around in my head because I do play guitar, I play drums, I play a lot of instruments and I love playing instruments and it would be a lot of fun to somehow incorporate that into the YouTube channel and I was hoping that I could then, you know, 
sort of merge Pokemon and music and, you know, just, you know, bring it all together and it would be a f super fun thing. But uh, we had some issues with the person that was, well, I had some issues with the person that was uh, going to be creating the character art for the channel and the logo and all that kind of stuff, you know, helping me out with, with the rebranding. Ended up not really getting it done ever. I don't, I still haven't seen any of it. You know, I haven't paid them yet, but I'll, you know, I told them that I wanted to at least get the confirmation that the work is being done before they got their payment. It's a good thing I did that because I have yet to see or even hear from them since then. And it's been months. So yeah, Seismic Toad at one point was going to be the new channel mascot. And that's, that was coming along with a channel rebrand that ended up not going through. So that's the number four slot. In the number three slot, guys, we have the Pokemon Greninja. I think this one makes a whole lot more sense than the other two so far. Greninja is a ninja. Ace turned a ninja. You know, could you imagine my character? Uh, well, I, just, I don't know. Do you guys even know what my character looks like? But okay, imagine my character standing next to a Greninja. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? It just looks so clean. So yes, at one point, in fact, for a long time, there was a thought that Greninja would be the channel mascot. Of course, you know. Thinking about that a little bit, everyone loves Greninja. Everyone and their mother likes Greninja. So, while it would be a very liked Pokemon for the channel mascot, it also would be one that would be very copyable. Okay, and I'm sure there's a lot of channels out there that have Greninja as their mascot. In fact, I can think of two right now. That's why, oh, you know, that was one of the really big reasons. One of the big things I was worried about with the channel mascot was just trying to find one that was unique. That's something that was. Really, really was heavy in my mind while I was trying to figure out what we we're going to do with the mascot. It was just finding one that was unique. So that was why Greninja got booted out. In the number two slot was a Pokemon that we actually had as our mascot for quite a while. In fact, if you guys are, again, OGs on the channel, you would know. For a while, we were Ace Turn and Ninja with a Weavile as our mascot. Now again, we changed that because I found out that there was a whole bunch of channels out there with Weavile as the mascot. And again, I was really trying hard to be unique with my mascot. So uh, that, that was what prompted me changing it once again. I think we've only had two official mascots, or technically two official mascots. We have had Weavile and then a Selgor. Well, with our number one slot is going to be something that's a little different. I guess it's technically an official mascot, the number one slot, but it's like a side mascot. It's weird. Anyway, Weavile was a one point our mascot. Fun fact, uh, but it ended up getting changed, like I said, because I wanted to be different. I wanted something new, something people haven't seen before to be our mascot. You know, you know we have Whooper as people's mascots. You got Whoopsire, who's a Whooper. We have the 31st, who's a Whooper. We have Dobbs, who's rocking uh, Psyduck. You know, original 151 is Mew. Uh, Asteroid Mania videos is um, Lapras. King Corfish is Corfish. <laughs> so I wanted something different, you know? I, I wanted to pull them on that people haven't really seen a whole lot of one people may not even think of that often, but it's actually a really cool Pokemon that they should think of more often. That's why we ended up with a Selgor. You know, it's a really cool Pokemon, a really good com in competitive battle if you're playing it right. Uh, so it's, you know, it's a fantastic Pokemon. But people just don't really give it that much love, you know? I mean, it has its fan base like any Pokemon, but anyway, that's why we've all got booted out. Last but not least, in the number one slot, we have Ninjask. Now, Ninjask is, you know, technically, technically he's a mascot. You know, he's like a side mascot for the channel. You know, we haven't, he doesn't really go on anything, but he's part of the uh, outro screen. He's on the banner. But when you think of Ace and a Ninja, you think of a Selgor. Again, because he's a ninja Pokemon. Again, he's a bug. He kind of paired well with a Selgor. I thought the color schemes kind of matched pretty well. And, um... Eventually, when we get all the channel art squared away, I got some people working on some stuff right now. Uh, new logo, new channel art, and all that kind of stuff. That's why I'm not using my character model uh, for this video. because we're in the process of getting everything sorted out right now. Getting everything finished for you guys. It's going to be a fantastic thing. Big channel changes coming in the... <laughs> big channel changes in the coming months. But yeah, Ninjask, what is technically a mascot, but he's also technically not a mascot. So that's why I put him in the number one slot. You know, if nothing else, to call attention to the fact that we also have a Ninjask as our mascot. Alright, now it comes to the fun part of the video. The tagging. I've watched, um, the 31st, I've watched his video. I have not watched, uh, one of the other, one of the people that he tagged have already put out their video, Lantern's Angler. Um, I haven't watched Lantern's video yet, so I don't really know who he tagged. 
but I will go ahead and tag um, Zora Meister, who is a buddy of mine that we did a soul link with. We did a soul link together some time ago, but I haven't really heard from him in a while. So if he watches this video, Zora, put something up on your channel. Also, I'm really sorry for giving you bad advice about your computer. I feel really bad about that. Number two, we're going to be tagging uh, Cody or Cuba Whack. I don't know if he watches my content, but if he does, there you go. There's your challenge officially. I'll tweet at you at Twitter. I'll message you on Twitter or something, you know. You'll know. You'll know. Watch the video. Like it if you're watching this, by the way. And uh, next up so with the uh, channels that I actually know, we're going to go with Camillo. We don't know each other that well, but he's been around in the streams a few times. He seems like a really nice guy. So we know of each other for sure. So Camillo, if you're watching this and I'll also tag you in a Twitter post, make sure you go ahead and let us know what your, um, what your channel mascots were. I don't even know. If you, do you have a Pokemon as your mascot right now? I haven't looked at your channel banner. I've seen your, seen your little icon like in the chat or whatever, but I haven't, I haven't looked at your channel banner. I don't think. Do you have a Pokemon as your mascot? I don't know. I know you do a lot of uh, shiny hunting streams though, so there you go. Officially tagged Camillo, po poked you through the camera. Mm. There you go. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, and then on to the two big channels that uh, I actually have talked to before, but I don't know if they're really gonna see this. I will try to get their attention somehow. But we're gonna go ahead and tag Shady Penguin because he's my favorite Pokemon YouTuber probably ever and i'm sad that he's slowly switching over twitch because i don't get a chance to watch that many live streams and original 151 we have spoken to before but i don't know that he really like knows me knows that i exist or whatever but uh we've, we've you know we've we've chatted like one message on twitter it's you know i think we're best friends now <laughs> but yes uh shady penguin and original 151 you guys are also tagged as the uh, bigger channels to try this out. It's actually really fun. Give it a go. And I, I think I, I personally would be really excited to know what other Pokemon you guys might have had as mascots or could have potentially been mascots. I know Shady Penguin has a uh, Deli Bird, and like I said earlier, Original 151, he's Mew. But I'd like to know was there ever other options you guys might have gone with? I don't know if I don't know if Vinny had any other options. 151 is Mew. It's pretty self-explanatory, you know? It's like you don't really have that many options at that point. But <laughs> I would like to know if you guys have anything else that you had going on in your head beforehand. Before you got big, before you got relevant, let us know. I would love to see it. And I'm sure a lot of people other would. A lot of other people would as well. well <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, again, please drop a like for me down below. I just punched my mic because I'm excited. Drop a like for me down below. It really does help out a lot. Subscribe if you are new around here. And share this video with a friend. But with that... I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for the tag. The 31st. The 31st. That almost came out as a sentence the first time. I'm tripping over all of my words today. Thank you so much for the tag. I really enjoyed making this video. Hopefully you have a fantastic rest of your life. Everyone watching. Not just the 31st. I realized it's something I was still talking to him. All of you. <laughs> Hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.